welcome back to my channel. This is Wen Q. Uh, before we dive deep into today's video, please hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss my video in the future. Today we're gonna talk about my internship experience over this summer plus the entire spring semester of 2021. And my company agreed that I can use uh, the company name and the content that I created for the presentation at the end of the internship. So thank you so much, Findorf. In this video, not only will I talk about my experience at Findorf, I also interviewed my dear boss, Eric Mergen, and um, my lovely coworker, Carl Hansen, who are PMs and PEs at Findorf. And they will be talking about their roles and responsibilities. They will answer some of the questions that normally young professionals and students have uh, about construction industry, about going into a general contractor firm, things like that. I also put the timestamp um, down below. So if you want to skip my experience please don't um and just go ahead but yeah you don't want to miss my presentation either um so this is one q i've been a project engineer intern at jh findorf and son my project over this eight months period has been the hub to champagne project a little bit about my project hub champagne daniel is a 13-story mixed-use apartment building located near the center of university of illinois at urbana champagne campus. So floor one includes the leasing office and retail spaces. Floor two includes parking spaces and student apartments. Floor three to floor five are functioned as offices for the University of Illinois. Floor six and above are student apartments with different layout options. Uh, Hub Champagne Daniel offers upscale amenities like a fitness center, rooftop pool, and common spaces. So those are also some of the engineering challenge when you're building them. Um, I blurred out some information so you might see a little bit of incompletion on my slides. The structure itself is post-tension flat plate concrete structure system. First, um, I want to talk a little bit about my accomplishments. Uh, first and foremost, RFIs and submittals. Um, so RFI stands for request for information. So as interns, it is our responsibility to manage RFI submittals to keep all the stakeholders updated on all the design changes and their financial impacts. Um, tracking sheets. So I was responsible for tracking a lot of I uh, specific items so that I can keep all parts Parties, including the Findorf team um, where everything is at and we can also calculate their productivity. <clears throat> punch list. This is a very important one. So I've been driving all the pre-punch from level 6 and above and also level two. Big chunk of my responsibility till the end or till the summer period of my internship is to um, get ready for owner's punch, which occurs every Wednesday. Um, I have to supervise and urge all the trades to com complete their scope of work every week so that we can have a smooth and successful owner's punch. Um, another very important responsibility that I've taken on is um, inspection. So basically getting all the things ready for all kinds of inspections till the end of the project, including the certificate of occupancy inspection, pool inspection, things like that. So basically, again, um, coordinating and urging all the subs to complete their scope of work, checking all the penetrations, all the fixtures, outlets, things like that, um, so that we, we the building can be successfully signed off and are ready for students to move in. Um, some of the other responsibilities, photos and executive summary. Going on to the next one, I also got a taste of how to do quantity takeoff and cost estimation for materials. I got to use some software and some basic techniques of doing procurement and quantity takeoff. Two-week schedule, I also collected an organized two-week schedule for my superintendent. I solicited bids from other subcontractors for a portion of our project. Uh, participate in weekly meetings, of course, doing meeting notes. Um, and finally, I have to track um, trade damages, water damages, so that we can identify the financial obligation of different parties. Some of the fun accomplishments that I did, I climbed a tower crane, and I also learned how to cock 
penetrations and some of the lessons that I learned over the internship period. First and foremost, communication, communication, communication. Always ask questions, convey problems to different parties so that everyone can have the discussion and keep everyone in the loop of what's going on. Um, second is be respectful and kind, but at the same time, assertive and firm. So especially working in construction, relationship building is very important. So do not burn bridges, um, build meaningful relationships, be, re be respectful to people. But at the same time, things need to get done. So you have to stand firm and really push forward of like the, the action items that what needs to be done. Um, third, be organized, keep track and always follow up. So uh, organizing emails and keep track of your responsibilities and follow up with different parties and stakeholders on all the issues that you're having. There are so much things just thrown at you. So you have to be prepared and organized and follow up with people if you didn't get an answer. So last but not least, be creative and solve problems. Different incidents, accidents always happen um, in a construction site. Sometimes we just have to find the creative way to solve different issues and problems. Um, some of the other lessons that I learned, um, how site, different site activities impact the project budget. So this one is basically when you are an intern, you're in the nitty gritty of things. But when you come back to the office and you see how the project managers and project engineers manipulate the budget that you found out, wow, like what people do on the site can actually impact project budget. Um, I learned a couple of softwares and systems that we commonly use as a general contractor on site and in the office. Additionally, some terminologies that we often use on a construction site. Um, some of the challenges I encountered over the internship period, uh, first and foremost, is definitely the, the lack of connection with the headquarter office in Madison uh, due to the location differences. Second is definitely being a woman in construction. We are a minority on the construction side and sometimes I can feel like um, either self-doubt or I don't belong here, things like that. Um, there are definitely difficult situations and even disrespectful comments that I have to deal with from time to time and I definitely feel the need of um, a woman's network in the construction industry either through my own company or through just like um, the industry in general. Last one would definitely be stress management because my project is really fast paced and uh, I've been through like the final phase of the project so I, t I could definitely feel the stress from everyone and including myself. Um, because our model is building and beyond at the end of my presentation I do want to include something that I did uh, using the skills and knowledge that I acquired from my internship but use it like beyond my internships. So I used my connection with another company who my mentor worked for. Um, Findorf is trying to do business development with them so I was able to be a part of it, participate in some of the conversations etc and put in good words for my company. And the second is definitely volunteer builder. I was able to build tables and chairs for Root to Roof which is a student-led community who design and build for the Champagne community. Last but not least, I learned multiple software, which has been related through my classes. So I get to know like the advanced part of construction. Um, I made a YouTube video about a day with me as a part-time project engineer and full-time construction management student. Please check it out if you haven't. And I raised fund for Graduate Society of Women Engineers. Last but not least, I led a team of six people to develop a construction safety plan utilizing my knowledge in construction safety. Last, I want to give a shout out to all the Champagne Hub 2 team. They've been super awesome during my internship experience. They've been nothing but helpful and encouraging. So I miss you guys so, so much and I really hope that our paths uh, cross in the future. So now let's move on to my interview with my project manager and project engineer, Eric and Carl. So I have Eric Morgan, um, who is super busy and I try to squeeze him into the schedule and then I have to wake up 30 minutes early to get him. So uh, without further ado, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, Eric Morgan, project manager for Findorf. Um, been with Findorf 
um, about seven years. Um, currently down here in Champaign with Winchu and the team working on a high rise 13 story building, um, apartment, um, apartment building for college kids. So. Cool. Um, and do you want to talk a little bit about your educational background? Yeah, so I uh, attended UW Platteville, so it's a small, small school in Southwest Wisconsin. Um, got a degree in construction management, um, four-year degree. After that, I moved out to uh, LA for a large GC for a few years and worked as a field engineer and office engineer, and then uh, moved back to Wisconsin to Madison and um, took a full-time position with Findorf as a project manager. Awesome. Um, and what are some of your responsibilities and day-to-day -day roles um, as a project manager? So currently my responsibilities are just the overall um, success of a project, um, the day-to-day -day activities um, of subcontractors, um, owner relationships, um, also team management. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of larger projects, there's more than one person on the team. So more in charge of the, the people of the project, um, make sure people are doing their roles and responsibilities. Um, you know, other things project managers um, are in charge of our schedule, doing the, the weekly schedule meetings, making sure that we're staying on, on schedule with the owner. Um, there's a lot of cost management um, with either owner change orders or subcontractor change orders that um, us project managers deal with every day. Gotcha. And what do you love most about the construction industry? I'd say the thing I love most is um, at the end of the day, there's a product that you can see um, and there's a rewarding factor to that of whatever you're building. Um, it, you know, there's whether it's a school, hospital, you know, place where people live, there's always an end, end result. Um, another one of the things I really do enjoy is the people. There's, you know, everyone has different personalities, you know, the way they act, the way they go about their business and just that connection that you make with someone, it's, um, you know, it's, it's different. You know, it's every person has their own unique, um, uniqueness to them. And so it's, just fun to watch, you know, people interact. Awesome. And one of my followers um, <laughs> and slash friend, I uh, wanna ask when you hire someone on board, what do you look into most? And like, what are the qualifications and abilities that you are looking for uh, for like joining your team? Uh, I think for me personally, it's finding someone that's like energetic, um, always wanting to learn more. They ask questions because um, in this industry, even myself, like, you know, I don't know all the answers. And so people that ask questions, you know that they're interested and they're willing to learn. Um, so that's one of the big things I look for is people that are asking questions, they show interest and then just the ability to, to give someone a task and, you know, they, they take it on. Um, without asking a, a million questions, um, you know, it's it's always, in my opinion, it's you know, it's easier to fail as like an intern, and that's all right because you're learning. So try try doing it your try doing it first yourself, and even if you fail, then you know it's a teaching moment. You can say, you know, here's what you did wrong, or hey, here do this type thing. So it's it's always nice to see someone just take it and finish it themselves. And you know, if there is questions along the way, ask. Yep. Awesome. Um, last question. What advice would you like to give to the students? I would say stay in school as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trying no. to. <laughs> um, no, I would say just kind of my last question was, you know, ask questions. I mean, that's how you learn. Um, always, you know, in this industry, like everything's always changing. Um, there's different ways to do things. Um, there's not always one way. So asking questions, so just more that development that that you get um, with being in the industry. You, you learn things over the years. Um, so I mean, as a young professional, like in construction, there's a lot to learn. And so don't feel bad about that or nervous. That's normal. And I would say just keep asking the questions because um, we're not all experts in everything. Um, that's why we really add, rely on our tradespeople. Um, so just keep asking the questions, I would say. Um, I have here Carl Hansen. He is a project engineer 
um, at Findorf. He's been a great mentor and a great coworker over the past couple of months. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit right now? Yeah, absolutely. Like I, like you said, my name is Carl Hansen, uh, project engineer at Findorf. I've uh, been at Findorf for five years now, um, based out of the Madison office. I uh, graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Construction from UW-Stout um, and then started right out uh, with Findor full-time in uh, 2016. Nice. Um, so the first question I have for you, of course, would be what are some of the responsibilities day-to-day -day that you do uh, as a PE? Yeah, so it varies depending on the point of the project you're in. So to start the project, a lot of upfront budgeting, uh, writing contracts, estimating, um, getting the project off the ground. And then once the project starts, just operating the day-to-day -day stuff. So I'm just continuing to manage the budget, uh, updating contracts and change orders, um, issuing RFIs, um, and then just making sure that the, the building gets built the way the, the architect uh, designed it. Awesome. And what do you love most about your job and the industry? Uh, definitely the, the how stuff changes and how fast it changes. So uh, the building that we built down here, we did it in uh, a little over 18 months. So I saw it when it had the original building there that we did demo and now it's uh, 13 stories up. So it just the, seeing a building start from the ground up and then just every day is different. It keeps everything really interesting. Awesome. And do you want to talk about like challenges or like the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd say the, the, the most challenging thing we have down here is, the, or like I said, any project you work with is just the people. Um, you, you work with so many different people and so many different uh, backgrounds. Um, so managing instead of you know just managing project and what you're doing on a day-to-day -day, you also have to manage all the different people that you work with um, being a general contractor you're responsible for all parts of the project um, so making sure that when you're running meetings you're engaging everyone and then following up with people and everyone's just a little bit different so it's uh it's sometimes hard to get your message through and then making sure that that you can rely on the right people and and having that that knowledge and that experience to, to make sure everything gets done I definitely conquer that. <laughs> yeah, and then I guess the other big one too is uh, just understanding that you don't know everything. Um, I've, so I've been here five years and I still don't know anywhere near as much as, as other people um, that have been here longer. So especially subcontractors, I don't, I'm not a master at electrical, I'm not a master at plumbing. So really relying on subcontractors to help you out. And then you're just understanding that you don't know what you don't know, so don't try to to, to, to do it on your own. Always rely on, on people that have been here doing it longer and, and always ask for advice and get help. Gotcha. Uh, last question for you. What advice would you like to give for young professionals and students um, who wants to get into the industry? I'd say to get into the industry, obviously the biggest thing, depending on what you want to do, if you want to get into to like my role, um, is start with the degree, get the degree, and then get on an internship, get on a project. Um, any company really, any type of construction, just to get your foot in the door. And then from there, just build relationships, um, attend volunteer opportunities with different stuff, things. Um, and then on, on a specific project like this one, really get out in the field um, and just grow that knowledge base, converse with the foreman on different subcontractors, dig into the plans a bunch, just try to learn as much as possible in as little amount of time as possible. And then just ask questions, just constantly be asking questions, asking what you can do to help people volunteer to take on tasks um, and just try to show your worth and, and just keep learning as you go. Awesome. What about in school? For in relation to school, so what you want to, like I guess what I did is for my degree, it was very well-rounded college. Um, there's different ways to go about it. I got my major in construction. You can get a major in civil engineering. So there's some differences there, but um, we do a lot of math. We do a lot of um, science kind of ish stuff like physics and, and stuff there but biggest thing is just getting used to working in teams mm. um so when you're on group projects and stuff making sure that you're you're being a, a good team team player in all that regard yep. um classes wise i mean you're going to learn 99 percent of the stuff that you do in construction you're going to learn on the job site or once you graduate um so i guess when it comes to schooling it's not it's important obviously but it's it's not going to be what you're gonna do it's more you're gonna in college you're gonna learn the lessons more and and how to kind of just be what what or learn what we do and kind of how to do it and then you'll learn all the knowledge of what construction actually is and how to build buildings when you graduate so it's more of just get that good base converse with your um with your classmates and your professors get a good uh network going and uh you'll you'll see those people again at some point awesome 
that is all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!